here we have our example of hypothesis testing with one categorical variable. So I'm starting from the middle of the PowerPoint, so you'll have to um, look for that and make sure you're understanding where we're coming from. But I'm sure if you're you're in class, um, that'll be easy to do. Uh, what I'm first thing I have to do is with uh, categorical variables, different than measurement variables, I have to look at these labels. I have to think about, okay, one and two. What does one and two mean? So I'm going to go and I know it's repetitive straight injury, injury. Aha. So twos are no's. Two is no and one is yes. So I can find that out through changing the label or just going into variable view here. Let me do that right now. There we go. And hit variable view. So one is yes, two is no. Okay. There we go. So it should be moving faster now. Back to data view. So no's are twos, ones are yeses. Okay. So when I'm doing the hypothesis, so I've got my null hypothesis over here. I've got I've got my proportion. My expectation is that seven percent of Canadians. Uh, have repetitive straight injury. So that's written in this format with a single proportions test and this format with the uh, chi-square goodness of fit. So let's do the single proportions test first. Again, SPSS instructions will tell you to go to analyze non-parametric tests. In the leg legacy diet logs, we look for the binomial test. Repetitive strain injury, since we have one variable, this is very easy. We, cli we click over here. Now, the tricky part is, what I want to test is the repetitive strain injury, yes. Just clear out zero, 07, right? But one is yes, two is no, correct? Well, let's see what SPSS will do. And it does something pretty funny here. So the test proportion 0.07, it's testing as the nose being 0.07. That's not what I want. So I have to redo this test with 0.93 as no because 0.07 is yes. So that kind of counter gets a little bit of getting used to. So let me get rid of this uh, output one, start from scratch. Go back here, analyze, non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, binomial. Instead of putting in 0.07 there, I put in 0.93. And I click OK. And now what I'll see, let me just shift that over. What I see is I have 0.93 under the nose, which means 0.07 is what it's testing for the yeses, and that fits in with my hypothesis test here. And I take a look, my uh, test significance is giving me 0 0.000, so that's pretty good. The tricky part is I've got a one-tail test, and I really want a two-tail test, but we're not going to worry about that for this course. For the chi-square test, I go to legacy dollars as well, and I go chi-square here. That's my chi-square goodness of fit test put in the variable that I need. All categories equal? No, they aren't. Values. 0 0.07 is the one. And 0.93 is the two. And it's giving my expected values. And you'll notice that I get the same significance value, 0 0.000. All right. So again, yes is that 7% of 1991 is 139.4, and 93% is this. And that is the same output that I have in my PowerPoint. 